Welcome to part six of the build. Now before I get into any of the build footage, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the comments that I've been getting on previous build episodes. I appreciate the positive and negative comments that I've been getting, so please continue to do them. I just want to lay out there a small disclaimer that I am not an engineer, and this is not something that I do professionally. This is simply a hobby of mine. All of this stuff I have learned on my own, and I've done all of the stuff on this car all on my own. So take that with a grain of salt, because I'm not going to be do this, doing this as a professional shop would do. This is purely my hobby, and I'm recording this purely for your entertainment purposes. Um, I do have a lot of information uh, as far as what I've been doing with the car that may be helpful to you guys, but please take it with a grain of salt. I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be. This is entertainment purposes, and I hope it's entertaining you. So with that said, what I did first in this part six series was I started to clean out the engine bay. The engine bay had a lot of dirt, grime, and grease over the last 180,000 miles that the car has gone through. So I had to clean all of that out before I can uh, lay the surface for prepping for paint. So I brought some friends over and we started cleaning out the engine bay. Once I finished cleaning out the engine bay, I put tape over the holes and put plastic over the car to prevent any paint overspray as I was painting the car. This is just primer. This is not the color blue that it will be, this is a primer. <laughs> the color blue that it will be is going to look gold. finished painting, I'm moving on to building the engine now. So the engine block that I'm using for this car is a little different than what was originally in it. I'm actually using a first generation contour engine block which is a slightly older design than the engine that was in this car. The reason that I'm using that engine block is because they designed it with a little bit more materials than they had in this engine. Now this engine was a little bit heavier because of that but in turn it actually used more materials that made it actually stronger. One of these areas that I'm particularly interested in is the main bearing caps. The main bearing caps on the Contour engines are bigger than the main bearing caps on the ZX2 engines. And I have to put the ZX2 windage tray onto the Contour engine block in order for it to fit up to the transmission. So that means I have to grind away at the windage tray in order to clear the main bearing caps from the Contour engine. So this is a Contour windage tray. This bolts directly onto the bottom of the main bearing caps. It's a little bit different than the ZX2's windage tray, which is much bigger, obviously. And this needs to be able to cle clear the main bearing caps from the contour engine in order to bolt up to the transmission. So I got the windage tray to clear the main bearing caps, so now it was time to start putting the engine together. internals so that I can hold more power than the original engine. Uh, it's JD pistons, eagle rods, ARP rod bolts, head studs, all the other bolts in the engine. 
The head is ported to 260 CFM by the famous John P. Uh, and well, those are the main important parts anyway of the engine. Anyway, at this point I had to stop building the engine because, well, I've got some good news. I bought a house, and the house comes with a much bigger garage. So in order to get from the ZX2 to the new house, I had to make it rollable, which means I have to put all the suspension and all that stuff into the car in order to make it roll onto the trailer so I could tow it over to the new house. So that's what I did next. What is that? That is a steering rack. What does it do? It steers the rack. It controls the car's front wheels turning. Oh. The rack and pinion. So the steering wheel, literally the steering rack, or the steering column from the steering wheel goes right into this. Uh, and this spins in a, in a, turns in a circle, and that turns a gear down here, and that gear rides along these teeth, and as that gear is moving, it pulls the bar in or out, which is left or right moving bar on the ends here, so that connects to the tie rods, which connects to the steering hub, which connects to the wheels and turns the car. What's going down, Ben? I'm painting my steering rack. All right, let's do it. That's a nice rack. Uh, you're using zip ties? Yes, I am. Are they actually the proper tool for the job? These actually are. Wow, amazing. Um, and unfortunately, these are not JDM zip ties. They are actually USDM zip ties. Zip very, ties? Very rare. Are they, are they at least race spec zip ties? Uh, no, they're not. Are they uh, heat resistant zip ties? Uh, no, they're not, but they're actually not zip ties. Take a look at this. Not. It doesn't do the clicky thing. It's just like um, friction based. So that's the last you're going to see of that garage. So in the next episode, I'm going to show you the new garage, uh, and then I'll start tearing into the ZX2 a little bit, uh, getting into the interior and trying to do a little bit of weight reduction and such there. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to give it a like, comment on it, anything you found particularly interesting, uh, and feel free to check out some of the previous build episodes. Um, please keep in mind that the previous build episodes are not going to be as high quality as some of the newer ones are as they come out. Um, we've been getting better at video as we've been going, so each video is going to get progressively better, so please keep that in mind. So we have a lot of other videos, not just the ZX2 build video. We do a lot of car features, uh, we do a lot of car shows, pretty much anything car related you'll find on this channel. So if you like cars, <laughs> hop around, take a look at some of our other videos. Uh, we're also on Instagram and Facebook, um, so feel free to hop over there and you'll get a little bit of a sneak peek on some of the videos that will be coming out in the future.